a look back at important moments in Diana's royal, family, and charitable life on the 20th anniversary of her death. One, Diana Spencer poses at Hitchener, West Sussex, England, during the summer of 1970. Diana Frances Spencer was born on the Sandringham Estate in Norfolk, England, on July 1, 1961, the youngest daughter of Viscount Althorpe, Edward Spencer, and Frances Spencer. She became Lady Diana when her father inherited the earldom in 1975. 2. Lady Diana Spencer is surprised by photographers as she leaves her apartment in Earl's Court on her way to her job as a teacher at a kindergarten nearby in London on November. 17, 1980. Diana had become a press magnet following rumors that she was romantically involved with the Prince of Wales. 3. Lady Diana Spencer and Prince Charles pose with Queen Elizabeth II after the Queen gave her formal consent to the couple for marriage on March 27, 1981. 4. With a 25-foot sweeping train, Diana and her new husband Charles leave St. Paul's Cathedral after their wedding on July 29, 1981. couple had an audience of about 3,000 guests, and it is estimated that more than 750 million people from around the world tuned in to watch the wedding on television. 5. The Prince and Princess of Wales return to Buckingham Palace by carriage after their wedding. Diana wore a wedding dress by David and Elizabeth Emmanuel and the Spencer family Diara. 6. The newlyweds bows at the Bridge of Dee in Balmoral, Scotland on their honeymoon in August 1981. 7. Charles and Diana leave St. Mary's Hospital after the birth of baby Prince William on June 22, 1982 in London. 8. Princess Diana and Prince Charles with baby Prince William at Alice Spring Airport, Australia on March 20, 1983, at the start of their royal visit. 9. Charles and Diana stand in front of Ayers Rock during their official tour of Australia on March 21, 1983. The couple visited the rock to see the sunset on their first royal tour. Diana quickly became a global sensation, adding some much-needed warmth, youth and modern flair to the monarchy. 10. Prince Charles and Princess Diana leave St. Mary's Hospital in London with their son, Prince Harry, on September 16, 1984, the day after his birth. 11. Diana with her sons, Prince William and Prince Harry, at the piano in their residence of Kensington Palace on October. 4, 1985. 12. Diana stands with U.S. First Lady Nancy Reagan during a visit to a drug rehabilitation center in Washington, D. 3. In November 1985. Diana tried to use her public platform to draw attention to a number of humanitarian causes, during her time as a royal as well as the years until she passed away. 
2013, Prince William walks with his mother at the Guards Polo Club on May 2, 1988. Diana wanted her boys, who were born two years apart, to lead both a normal and royal life. She would bring them to eat at McDonald's, holiday with them at Niagara Falls and Disney World, and even ride the London Underground with them. Fourteen, Princess Diana wears a diamond tiara and pearl-studded jacket, described as the Elvis look by the designer, while attending the opening of the $77 million Hong Kong Cultural Center on November. Eight, 1989. The British royal couple was making a three-day visit to the colony. Fifteen. Prince William and Prince Harry are prepared with bags and uniforms on their first day back at the Weatherby School in Notting Hill Gate, West London, for the start of the new term on April 25, 1990. Sixteen. The Princess of Wales walks among crowds of children waving flags during her visit to Glompton in Devon, England in September 1990. 17. Princess Diana sits on a bench alone, now affectionately known as Lady Di's chair, at the Taj Mahal in Agra during the official royal tour of India on February. 11. 1992. Prince Charles was caught up in business meetings and missed the photo op planned for the couple. 18. Prince Charles and Princess Diana stand next to each other during their last official trip together, in Seoul, South Korea, on November. 3. 1992. They attended a banquet at the Government Blue House in Seoul. The couple announced their separation in December 1992, but continued to carry out their royal duties. 1996, they formally divorced. 19. Princess Diana cups the chin of a Nepalese boy on March 5, 1993, in the Himalayan village of Panaudi. 20. The princess was on the fourth day of a five-day visit to Nepal, visiting development projects funded by the British and the country. 21. When Diana became a member of the British royal family, she chose work that highlighted the young, the sick and the vulnerable, as well as the old, both physically or mentally weak. 22. She made it her mission to seek out those marginalized by society. She destroyed the do not touch taboo as she shook hands with an AIDS patient and two years later held the stump of a leprosy patient said press secretary Dickie Arbiter. Twenty, Princess Diana with her sons Prince William and Prince Harry on a skiing holiday in Lech, Austria on March 30, 1993. Twenty-one, Princess Diana at the Nemazura Feeding Center, a Red Cross project for refugees, in Zimbabwe, July 1993. 22. The Prince and Princess of Wales and Princes William and Harry watch a military parade a part of the VJ Day 50th anniversary celebrations in London on August. 19, 1995. 23. Princess Diana interacts with patients at Neves Benginia, an ICRC orthopedic workshop in Luanda, Angolan on Jan. 14, 1997. 24. 
South African President Nelson Mandela shows the way to Diana during a photo call in Cape Town on March 17, 1997. The princess paid the courtesy visit to Mandela while visiting her brother, Earl Spencer, in Cape Town. Twenty-five. Princess Diana meets 18-month-old Vesu Karamani during her visit to the Pediatric Intensive Care Unit at Street. 22. Mary's Hospital on April 22, 1997 in London. 26. Mother Teresa, left, says goodbye to Princess Diana after receiving a visit from her on June 18, 1997, in New York. 22. Diana, who was in the United States on a Red Cross fundraising mission for landmine victims, flew to see Mother Teresa after a meeting at the White House with Hillary Clinton. 23. Mother Teresa, whose home is normally Calcutta, was in the Bronx to offer spiritual assistance to the large numbers of poor and dejected in the borough. 27. Princess Diana leaves the house of landmine victim Miecha Gabalik on the last day of her private visit to Sarajevo, Bosnia as part of her campaign against landmines on August 10, 1997. 22. Diana met with victims who sustained injuries from devices planted during the country's savage civil war in the 1990s. 28. The Prince of Wales, Prince William and Prince Harry look at floral tributes to Diana outside Kensington Palace on September 5, 1997 in London. 22. On August 31, 1997, Diana and her boyfriend Dottie Fade, accompanied by bodyguard Trevor Reese Jones, rode through a Paris tunnel in an attempt to outrun paparazzi photographers. 23. When their driver lost control of the car, the vehicle slammed into a concrete pillar, killing the driver and fade at the scene. 24. The princess was rushed to a hospital where she later died. 29. Guardsmen escort the coffin of Diana draped in the royal standard, as the cortege passes through crowds gathered along Whitehall, London on Sept. 6, 1997. Walking behind the coffin are the Duke of Edinburgh, Prince William, the Earl of Spencer, Prince Harry, and Prince Charles. 30. The coffin of Diana is carried into Westminster Abbey by the bearer party of Welsh guardsmen for her funeral followed by the Prince of Wales, Prince Harry, the Earl Spencer, Prince William and the Duke of Edinburgh on September. 6, 1997. According to the BBC, an estimated 2.5 billion people around the world watched Diana's funeral on TV. 31. Prince William, Wright, and Prince Harry look at floral and pictorial tributes to their late mother Princess Diana placed on the gates of Kensington Palace in London on August. 30, 2017. The princes paid tribute to their mother on the eve of the 20th anniversary of her death by visiting the